This is a chunk of ice, so frozen water, and then there's a temperature probe stuck in, so it's frozen into the middle of this chunk of ice. Some of you have seen this before, some of you haven't, which is why I'm doing this. Um, and it's just a good, good um, way to get into what we'll do next. So temperature probe is frozen into the ice. Um, I think it wasn't just added in after the fact. It was like the whole the whole unit, like the probe and the water were put into the freezer, I'm guessing. So they were frozen together in the ice. So this probe is, is in the ice. So we're seeing this is below zero degrees Celsius. I'm just going to watch a little bit. We'll stop it about there. So at this point, um, there's going to be some questions about what you just saw. And you may have to go back and rewatch that section like two, three, four, seven, whatever times. Um, but keep watching it to notice the details asked for in the questions. Right? Um, other thing, so we just looked at actual ice, like physical ice in a video. Um, this is a model, and if we change this temperature scale to Celsius, um, what we're looking at, we're looking at neon right now, but let's look at water. So this is a model of water that is at a negative 127 degrees Celsius. If we were to heat it up a little bit, we can get it to roughly where this water was at the beginning. So this water was about negative 37 degrees. Um, this is at about negative 36-ish. You can get it closer if you really want to. Um, but this is a basic idea. Neg <laughs> Can't do it. <laughs> negative 38. We're going to leave it there. Um, so I just want you to stop, listen, <laughs> stop listening and just notice what you see happening in these particles. Okay, look at how they wiggle, look at how they move up and down, look at how they move side to side. And look at how they move in relation to each other. So for example, these two right here, like one always stays on top of the other or above the other. Their relative position doesn't really change very much, like a little bit over time maybe, but not very much. Similar with a lot of these. Pick a pair of two particles and see if their relative position changes, right? So if one particle is to the right of the other, does it stay to the right of the other? If one particle is below the other, does it stay below the other? Okay. Now I'm going, and so again, if you need to go back and watch that again to really notice the details, then do that. Sometimes it takes a whole bunch of, of views to really see the details. Um, even when they're right in front of your eyes, you don't notice them always until you take a couple tries at it. Okay, so let's heat this up. Um, in the video over here, we heated this up and it got to about zero degrees, I think. Yeah, so it got to about zero degrees and then kind of like stays there, like zero, one degree-ish. And then it stays there for a little bit. So let's bring this up and we'll get to about, there we go, zero degrees. So now let's pause and just do the same sort of noticing activity. Okay, do you notice any differences between this and what we just saw? And it might help you again to like go back in this recording and compare the two. And think about what I'm asking you to notice, right? Do you notice differences between their relative positions? Are they rotating more or less? 
Do they turn a full 360 degrees into a full circle ever? Did they do that before? Why might that be happening now? What did we have to do to get this temperature up a little bit? And so what does that mean temperature might actually represent? Like what, when we measure temperature, what are we measuring? Right? It's like the thermometer here is stuck inside of this container so that the bulb is actually in the container. So what is that bulb measuring? Like what, what, is, what, what, what is temperature in this case? What do we think? Ooh, look at that. Okay, okay. This is still zero degrees. Freezing point of water, melting point of water, okay. So now I'm just going to heat this up a bit and we'll have two more phases of noticing. I'll heat it up to about 50 degrees C and then we'll heat it up to about 100 degrees C. Okay, let's stop and notice. Is the behavior of these particles any different? Are their relative positions different? Do they seem to be attracting to each other or repelling each other or neither? And I think I already asked, but what are their relative positions? And are those relative positions changing at all? Okay, here we go. Up to 100. All right, so same questions. Do they seem to be, how, how are they interacting differently or similarly, right? There's still rotations happening. Are they rotating more like faster or slower? Are more of them rotating than before? Do they appear to be colliding with each other more frequently, right? If they are colliding, are they, are they like moving away from each other and then getting pulled back to each other? What, what's happening here? Do there appear to be attractive forces or repulsive forces or neither? All right, so we're at the boiling point of water right now, 100 degrees Celsius. So let's just, let's push this. Let's see what happens if we go to like 100 and Let's go to 200, 200 degrees C. Okay, so what is different or similar about this? So think about the graphs you have made for your own water heating curve. Um, and think about where the boiling point of water is and what phase this should represent. And we'll leave it there for this video. All right.